today, um, oh, I'm listening to BTS, of course, as always, because why not? So, today is a self-care, um, vlog. <laughs> um, it wasn't too crazy today, like life in general, it wasn't too crazy, but sometimes you just need some self-care. And um, I socialized quite a bit today, and I'm very, 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 very tired. So, and I'm an introvert. So, tonight I'm going to do a little vlog. Um, and I will do a self-care shuffle at the end of it, because this is a self-care video. Um, I just thought today, let's just do some self-care. And uh, one of the things I do for self-care is I sniff these dead, wilted roses. rather inhale them because I just love the way they smell. I don't know what it is about dead, wilted roses. I just love the way they smell. <laughs> Much better than live roses. I think it's something in the decay that I just love. I'm dark. This is a self-care video, self-care vlog. Um, and actually I have a friend who just published her um, new poetry book. Uh, her name is Mai. Mai. She's very, she's very sweet. Um, I will leave her, um, this is a picture of it. <laughs> I don't have it physically because, um, you know, I don't have it physically, but she sent me a copy, um, of her ebook, so I'm gonna read it in this video. Um, yes. And this is a video pretty much dedicated to her. I thought I would do a self-care type of thing because she just has such a sweet vibe. She's such a sweet person and, you know, her words are very inspiring and I thought why not why not give her a video on my channel because she just came back after a while where she hasn't been kind of on social media at all um, and she just came back so uh, I'm making this video for her. Hi Mai, how are you doing? And yes, I don't know if I will finish the um, book tonight because it's like a poetry book so I don't know if I'll finish it all tonight but I will try to read as much as I can and if I don't then I will continue the vlog into the next day. <laughs> And then we'll do the self-care shuffle after that. But anyway, so yeah, my self-care does go into the morning as well. It does go into the daytime because I work out in the morning. So I, I do self-care throughout the day generally. But we're starting at night because that's just what I do. For some reason, I start these vlogs at night. <laughs> I am a creature of the night. So um, that's just what I do. I start I start these vlogs at night and I, I, I spend a lot of time in the night. <laughs> Lady on the moon over here. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, what am I gonna do right now? I was just listening to BTS for some self-care. <laughs> they always put me in a great mood. Um, but I'm gonna take a shower. I'm not gonna do my hair because my hair looks so cute right now. I'm not gonna do my hair. And I, you know, this isn't my natural hair. So, uh, as soon as it touches water, it's gonna be a fuzzball and that'll mess up my self-care moment. So, um, it's just too much maintenance, so I'm gonna take a shower, get out of these clothes from the day, and I will see you in my more comfy clothes, and we can, um, you know, read a little bit of her book. That'll be fun. I'm not gonna read anything in this video. If something sticks out to me, I might, um, I might, but, uh... I will do a little montage of me reading, <laughs> so you can see me reading it, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna go take a shower now. I will not film that, because <laughs> that's a little weird, um, but I will see you after in my comfy clothes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's so crazy, because December 11th is my sister's birthday too. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was Woolen Winters as part of Sunlight on the Kitchen Tiles by Mayraj Fatima. Her words are just so, like, comforting. And, like, is, like honestly, like, her other book was like this too, um, Pastel Petals. Her other book was like that too. It was just so, like, comforting you know like wow 
Oh my gosh. I, I love the way that she writes. I love her writing. And the imagery she has in like, in the prose, like the imagery is just so profound. Like it's amazing. <laughs> I love the references to nature as well. I love the references to like comparing different things to nature because nature is also very comforting. <laughs> This is like the type of book you read to feel comforted. It's very good for self-care. Oh, I reached Rose. I will pick this up in a second. <laughs> but wow, so far it's it's beautiful. It's so wow, like um it's very introspective. Um it's very it's very soft and delicate. Like just the way that she writes is so magical it's so it's beautiful um if you uh haven't heard of her before um i will leave her instagram linked below as well i'm gonna continue reading this wow i've got up two rows <laughs> so for the self-care what are we gonna do well i just i just read some poetry um what else can we do well i'm gonna do some chores because <laughs> obviously house chores are part of self-care and while i do that i'm obviously gonna listen to some bts <laughs> and i can't really um do that with you because it's copyrighted right so the music so i will go do that and then i'll come back and we will continue the self-care vlog <laughs> i did all my chores and now it's almost time for bed. I thought we should meditate together. So I've got this and um, I'm going to listen to my um, affirmations in here. Uh, and you can put on your affirmations uh, and just, you know, we could just meditate together <laughs> i might i might make a meditation one day maybe i don't know that my voice is really that soothing i've heard from a lot of people that i have the most annoying voice ever so um, mainly my brother um so i don't know that i'll ever make a manifest or manifestation oh yeah a meditation um on here on youtube but um I listen to my own, so that's what I'll do. Now, let's leave a little bit more of Mai's book because it is such a vibe. Sarange Bichida. Madly in love. Nice. She has cute little um, sayings in Korean. I think that's really. It's very different. A lot of people don't do that. Well, I'm sure like in Korea they do, obviously, but like um, a lot of people don't don't really include other languages in their books. Or if they do, there's there's like some um, theme around it, um, which I think is what she did here. I like the little bits of Korean. Of course, I would resonate with this. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Like, literally, this is just so... Okay, th this so far is my favorite. <laughs> Obviously, of course it is. <laughs> um, I will put the quote right here. 
roses in drought. But, my love, you do not speak. You bloom roses in the season of drought. The roses to stay fragrant for eternity. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god. This is why I love poetry. <laughs> this is why I love poetry. Oh my god. Amazing. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> There's also so much movement in the way she writes, like literally. Like things that would naturally be inanimate become in motion. You get what I mean? It defies gravity. Her writing defies gravity. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that too. Okay, I think this is my favorite. All my favorites are in the roses. <laughs> the others were really good too, but these are really speaking to me, okay? So, this is called Knitting. And how come I believed you when you told me that you are bad at knitting, when all this time you had been weaving your name within my heart, thread by thread? Thread by thread, you weaved yourself into my heart. This is amazing, you guys. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> this is why I love poetry. This is why I love poetry. <laughs> I love it. I do that too. I write I write I write love poems for food <laughs> or like stuff I love. I love that. Hang sang dang xing wa ham ke. Hang sang dang xing wa ham ke. Always with you. <gasps> that is so, that is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> the way she writes also has like a certain like melody to it. There's like waves <laughs> it's like waves of the ocean <laughs> in sangri jazun gotu little things in life oh. i also love the little things there's also an um in this in this book there's also a certain amount of like gratefulness you know like how how simple certain things are it's literally like how artists how we see the world we see it differently than people than you know your average person and her poetry perfectly encapsulates that oh kum so ke so oh that's easy kum so ke so in a dream Dance to DNA at 1 a.m. in your bedroom. <laughs> Calling me out right now. Ah! Yes. I relate to that as well. I just have a smile on my face reading this. Like, I just feel so happy. <laughs> Relatable. I'll quote this one too because it's short and sweet. Antique. My soul, a chaotic museum of thoughts. Daydreamer, beautiful chaos. So relatable, I can't. <laughs> I finished it, whoa. That book was so, it was the perfect book to read for this video because of the self-care, like, you know, um, wow. I'm gonna let it just marinate in my brain box and i will come back tomorrow because it's like such a such a uh, wow it's just so wholesome it's just so wholesome and it's so such a vibe but anyway this is a five out of five this is five out of five stars like <laughs> it's so good but anyway um i'm gonna come back tomorrow um in the morning 
perhaps with a cup of chai tea, <laughs> and tell you the final reading, and also end the video. But for right now, with the self-care shuffles, um, but for right now, I hope that you enjoyed my reaction to it. Um, I included a few little quotes from the book that I really like, and yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going. I feel really sleepy now. It was like the best thing to read because it's just so wholesome. It's just so, this is the kind of content that people need to consume. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this is the kind of content that we need to, we need more of. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I have wine down. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will continue this video tomorrow in the morning um yes <laughs> but that book was beautiful that book was amazing oh my god i love it <laughs> hey guys so is the continuation of the self-care vlog i know the sun very dramatic actually She a little too excited okay <laughs> that's a little bit better hey guys so we're continuing the self-care vlog i've got chai tea here i finished it i will not lie to you i finished it already <laughs> but um i wanted to come back and um finish up the vlog so i'm gonna have a separate video that is just reviewing the book but um this video was more just my reaction um why not make two videos for her <laughs> but anyway um uh after I, I read over it a little bit more um after and i have more stuff i want to say about it so i'm just gonna make a separate video just for that but yeah uh this is the end of the vlog so i'm gonna do the self-care shuffle and yes i'm in comfy clothes because i already did my workout i wasn't gonna film that because who on earth wants to see that. Nobody. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> anyway, um, so, um, what are your self-care routines? What do you do when you feel like you need some self-care? I would love to know. Comment that down below. Also, if you've read, um, comment any poetry that you like, because I want to, I want to get more into, like, reading poetry again. I was reading it for a while, but I stopped, you know, um, and now I want to read it again. Um, my, my friend has inspired me to read again. I've been writing, but she's inspired me to read more poetry again. My cat is yawning because he is tired of me. So these are things you can do. I know I haven't done self-care shuffle in a while, huh? These are things that you can do after this video is done. Oh gosh, okay, we'll take those. Oh gosh, okay. So, after this video is done, and just for your self-care, um, you can do one of these things, all of these things, whatever you want. And let me know what you did in the comments what you will do. First we have clear your energy field. Get some sage, burn it, and go around and you know, or just have the intention, you know, take a bath, take a shower, sometimes that's all you need, or just do kind of like a cord cutting ritual, I guess, I don't know, um, but clear your energy because maybe there's some stagnant energy, move it around a bit, maybe exercise. Okay, we also have take a walk, go outside, take a walk. That's always nice. Being grounded, getting grounded in that energy, getting some sun. That's always nice. I have not done that in a while. I probably should. <laughs> Introvert. And we have sing. That really goes along with this video, to be honest, with all the BTS references. <laughs> but yeah. I know, baby. Hold on a little bit. Just a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, sing. Singing always makes me feel good. Singing always makes me feel good. I always sing when I'm feeling a certain type of way and it always makes me feel better. <laughs> There's something in the frequency of sound. Also, when you exercise that throat chakra, that vocal energy. He was silent the entire time I was not filming and now he's just yapping up a storm. Anyway, um, so that was this video. I'm gonna have another video um, that is the full review of the book that I read today. If you're interested in it, here's a, here's a picture. Here's a picture and also um, here's her Instagram um, if you want to follow her uh, right here. Actually, I'll put it here so it's easy to see <laughs> right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you do for self-care uh, and I will see you next time. Bye!